so just when you think the English can't get more deplorable, <clears throat> which I should stop being so so so, so shocked. Um, let me just uh, repeat to you what General Sir James Glover. Deputy Chief, Defense Intelligence, 1981 to 1983. And this is in minute 544 seconds into Provost Diary Sinn Fein Part 3. So you can go see it for yourself. And I will add description, or I will add link in the description. M minute 544 is where it's at. He says, every man and woman has their price, whether it's the good life or women or whatever. What? Really? Really? Uh, first of all, the, he, this sentiment is of a Nazi. So you have your price for where you would uh, torture children, right? You have your price on that. Everybody does. All the viewers out here have that. Everyone on earth. Because that's what he says. Everyone has their price. Which means, what, to betray your own people? To commit evil? To be a collaborator and to side with murderers and thugs? You have Everyone has their price? So, all the revolutionary movements, it was just, those were disingenuous. Um, let me ask, this, I, I wish this, well, I wouldn't be talking to him if I saw him, but... Uh, what about Bobby Sands and all those that died on the hunger strike? What about shit-covered cells and horrible living conditions? And torture? So, what, the Bobby Sands just liked the idea of starving to death? I mean, it, they're so freaking bold in... I now believe, just as with, you know, hearing about Irish need not apply and all that stuff, you know, that you, I thought was over, um, you know, hearing stuff, you know, about my grandma and all this, you know, again, yeah, I'm Latino and Arab, but, and I speak Spanish and I was going to the Majid when I was younger, um, but what side of my family do I always say I identify with? My my, on my ma's side, the Irish Catholic side. And I say Irish Catholic as a race. Even though I shouldn't have to, since that's the only type of Irish that there are. And it doesn't matter, oh, well, what if you're an atheist? Anybody asks ask that question is fucking stupid, because it has nothing to do with your individual belief. It's your alliance. And uh, if you're basically good or evil. <laughs> if you're on the side of good or if you're on the side of evil. I mean, there's no such thing as a Irish-British loyalist. But uh, I've now to see that there's the evil isn't gone. And that peace is a terrible thing when it has to come at the price of dignity and humanity. As I said before, no one has the right to say anything should stop before English occupation is gone. There's my next video on, um, I mean, before, just the question of, well, what if it, that, that officer was off duty, why did you kill, like, that, that thing, I mean, I'll be doing these short things to stress these points, and, again, there is no response, anybody, anybody to respond to this, I don't, there is not two sides to every issue, torturing and raping children, there's no, there's no side to that, it's wrong. Murder, rape, there's, these things are wrong. Fighting in a political cause, in taking down collaborators and occupiers, it's not murder, that's war. There's a difference between killing and murder. Murder is what the occupiers do. The, the, the freedom fighters, almost by definition, can't commit murder 
I mean, if it's not upon other Catholics and if it's uh, if it's against the occupier, how is that murder? The people fighting against the Nazis when the you know the re- resistance against the Nazis, they were murdering Nazis. No, they were. This is war, dude. I'm shocked and disgusted. And the Anglo-Saxon. I am holding out. I do not want to conclude that they are defective or more evil in some way, because I've never held that about any people. I've always believed everyone has the exact same vices and virtues in them. But, uh, I think this is deplorable. So I need to speak out. Every one of these documentaries is, is, is trying to slant being pro-English, but you can obviously and blatantly see their evil, the evil that they do and that they, this this smirking, like they, they believe it's a sport to kill Irish Catholics. It's, it's, it's ridiculous and sociopathic and psychopathic all at the same time. So I'm going to keep talking about this.